you doing today? Get a gospel track? I got the gospel track, and I don't see you guys giving the word of love to these people. Oh, it is love to it warn somebody about hell. Amen. Do, do you are you a Christian? Absolutely. Oh, so what do you do to warn people about hell? What do you tell them? Relationships. I take care of the poor and the orphans. I take care of widows, and I love on people. And then people go, "What's going on with you?" And I, and then I tell them, and then they're open to it, uh -huh. just like Jesus did. Uh huh. Yeah. So Jesus never preached to people. Oh, all the time. But they oh, okay. Yeah. So we're trying to do what Jesus did, right? We're trying because he's our master. He never did. That. So. We're, we're are you are you born again? Absolutely. Where in the scripture does it show him going to people and saying, you know, uh, you need to listen to me, you're going to hell? Well, he said to the to the uh, uh, the woman at the well to repent. To she was in adultery, and the, the so woman who was caught in adultery said, "Turn, and go go and sin no more. Repent." He said, I will not accuse you either. I will not condemn you either. So she's no so you're saying you think that he was saying that she's okay to continue in her sin? I don't know, I'm not saying that, but that's so how did she so do it? Do you your, believe that your there's example is the perfect example. Well, do you believe that there's a real hell where people will go oh, for absolutely. all eternity? So why wouldn't you tell people about that? Jesus did. He says, he said, if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It's better to go into heaven with one eye than both eyes and be cast into hell where the, where the fire never is quenched. The worm never dies. The fire is never quenched. I, you know, so he I talked about you. hell more than he did about heaven. You're right there with that rock. Yeah. And he's saying to you. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, a beggar yeah, trying yeah. to show others where the bread is, so, other beggars. I'm no better than anybody else. I see you I'm trying to toast off. drive. Wait, how, yeah. now how? Now, how, theologically, that's incorrect. If people are away from God, you can't drive them away from God. They're already away from God. They're already You can't make them any more dead than they are. Right. They're not like mostly dead like the Princess Bride. They're completely dead, right? This, right? This is not the way to do it. They just well, how, do it. So tell me about the last conversation you had with somebody about Jesus. What did you say? When, when was that? So the, the last conversation I had about Jesus with someone who was unsaved was just a week ago. Oh, what did you tell them? I told them that they were sinning, that they shouldn't treat their son the way that they're treating him, uh -huh. that God would never treat them that, that way. Uh -huh. Did you share the gospel with them? Absolutely. So, what did you say? I mean, what, what is the gospel, by the way? The gospel way? is that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that the only way to heaven is through him, and the only way to get there is through him, and you have to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Well, the gospel is that Jesus died on the cross, was buried, and rose again on the third day. That's the gospel. If you don't know the gospel, you can tell people all sorts of stuff, and yeah. that's that's not the gospel, because the gospel, Romans 1 16, is the power of God to salvation for the Jew first and the Gentile, of course. Right. And we're not many Jews here, but yeah. lots of Gentiles. Well, we're a Jewish cult, but just joking. A Jewish cult. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> not in one of those. Well, Jesus was a Jew. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. People and people forget that, you know. I'm a follower of Christ. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so where do you go to church? you go to church around here? Bible Baptist Church in Klamath Falls. I'm a pastor oh, there. Okay, yeah. I used to, I, I've been there. I live in Klamath Falls. I got saved in Klamath Falls in 94. Right. So visited there and a yeah. couple other churches around right. there. But got saved at First Baptist Falls going there at the time. Yeah. Didn't actually get saved in a church. Right. Because, right. you know, there's no decisional regeneration type of thing. Ask Jesus into your heart. But, uh, but it's repent and believe the gospel. Right. So I don't want people to go to hell. Well, and, either, yeah. Did you did you warn that person that if they don't turn from their sins and trust in Jesus, they'll that they'll go to hell? Yeah. You told them that. Yeah. What did they say? Uh, they were actually really moved. I think they'll come to Christ. Uh -huh. Well, I hope so. I, I pray so. But you know, the other thing about this is. I'm not, you're not in charge of salvation, people's salvation. God, God will save them, sometimes in spite of us. He'll, he'll use somebody else. I mean, he used a donkey, you know, in the Old Testament. So, so but our, the idea is, well, I mean, what, what's not gentle? You're, you're accusing me of things, and, but you don't have any evidence. So usually it's the, what they say is that you throw a, a, a rock and a pack of dogs, the one that gets hit is the one that yelps. So imagine, you're, are you living with your girlfriend, sir? Are you fornicating? That, that might be the reason why. Well, it's not, no, I was talking to that guy. He was accusing me of fornicating. And uh, I'm actually married, but he didn't know that. 
So I'm guessing because that sin kind of alarmed him that he lashed out. So what about you? Have you have you fornicated before? Have you sinned against God in any way? Like by lying or theft or blasphemy or lust? 